Hello, everyone. Welcome to Athens, Ohio, where you can find The Market on State, a bite-sized gem of them all. I'm your cruise director, Kristen. The open anchors here are Dunham Sports and Tractor Supply Company, the latter of which doesn't open into the mall like its predecessor J.C. Penney did. One thing that really struck me about this mall is that they've maintained a lot of the original character and charm by, for instance, leaving the dark basket weave tile floors in place, despite the last remodel taking place in 2006. They added complementary planters that match instead of fight the aesthetic. Athens is a medium-sized town that is home to Ohio University, and the mall is located in a busy commercial district where it competes with big box and strip centers. All things considered, it's doing fairly well due to an essential set of services located right inside, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles and the Title Office. And while you're here, you might succumb to the siren song of Bath & Body Works or some deeply discounted clothes at Label Shopper before you head out. The market on state is chugging along as a sort of enclosed convenience center, but let's take a look back at the beginning when this mall was called University Mall, and its offerings were much more conventional. The project was approved in 1985 when the city of Athens was awarded $1.3 million in grant money for economic development projects, among which was the University Mall. It was developed in conjunction with Beerman Realty, who were at the time building shopping centers and malls as a showcase for their elder Beerman department store chain, which was based in Dayton and at its peak had 68 stores in eight states. University Mall opened its doors in October of 1988. Throughout the 80s and 90s, University Mall did fairly well, catering to both locals and college students living on the nearby campus. It was home to standard mall offerings like Claire's, Sam Goody, and several quick service restaurants, along with a JCPenney and a Kmart. In the early 2000s, Elder Beerman declared bankruptcy along with their Beerman Realty arm. After successfully reorganizing via the bankruptcy, the company was in talks to go private when they were sold to Bonton, who offered the most cash of all bidders for Elder Beerman's outstanding stock. In contrast to May Company's devouring of their purchase nameplates, Bonton kept the Elder Beerman brand mostly active and Elder Beerman's CEO Bud Bergren became CEO of the Bonton in 2004. Meanwhile, the overall upheaval in the retail industry resulted in two fresh vacancies at University Mall when Kmart closed at one end of the mall in 2003 and the JCPenney at the other end closed in 2004. As is usually the case, several inline tenants followed suit. Left with only Elder Beerman and Junior Anchor goodies, it fell into receivership and was purchased in 2005 by its current owners, Southeast Management, who not only gave the mall an attractive facelift but changed its name to the market on state.
I have to say they've done a pretty good job of keeping things feeling fresh, modern, and relevant without completely blandifying it. As you can see by the DMV, its role in the community has changed and they've embraced that. The walls of the mall are decorated with the work of local photographers, and the former Elder Beerman space is occasionally home to local arts fairs and farmers markets. Most of all, this mall feels welcoming to the general public instead of making them feel like a nuisance, which is where I think a lot of modern malls have shot themselves in the foot. The warmth is palpable in here. They've managed to replace the former JCPenney and Kmart with a Dunham Sports and a Tractor Supply Company at each end. By 2012, the Bonton rebranded several Elder Beerman stores to its other brands, with stores in Indiana and Michigan becoming Carson's and Yonkers, department store brands more local to those regions that they also owned. On April 17, 2018, the Bonton declared its own bankruptcy and were unable to emerge from bankruptcy intact. They were purchased by a joint venture of several holders of their liens on its assets, and all of their brick and mortar locations closed in August of 2018. As morbid as this may sound, it is the natural order of things for the offspring to outlive its parent, and the market on state has continued to keep moving forward long after its original builder, Beerman Realty, had ceased to exist, and shows no sign of stopping completely, despite some vacancies here and there. A couple months ago, I had the privilege of recording the first episode of a brand new podcast with the brains behind Let's Go to the Mall, whose name is also Kristen. We had a great time filming it, and if you're interested, you can find a link to her channel in the description for this video, so go check it out. Thank you for watching. I have several completed projects ready for the editing desk, and I hope to get those out to you more quickly this summer. Thank you to all our patrons, and if you'd like to support us on Patreon, see the link in the description. As always, I'm your cruise director, Kristen, signing off until next time.